So basically from zero to over 6,000 in monthly organic traffic with backlinks. I want to go over the case studies, the actual things we did, the things we didn't do and how you can do it too. Okay. And I have a bunch of results here to show for. So this specific one that was in the video's title is this one, right? It is for a healthcare marketing company in the US, right? And the traffic went from around zero, and we can consider this zero, to over 6,000 in monthly organic users going to the site. Okay, that's insane, right? You see here, from here to here, right? With backlinks. We basically built six to six, uh, four to six DR40 links um, since February 2023. So around 90% of them were link insertions. And I'll go over what link insertions are, what the R40 is, the, why there's number of links, anchor text, all that. But I just want to show you the results first, right? And before I keep on talking about this stuff, it is, it is very important that you understand that backlinks aren't a magic thing. Now, they do work very well, right? As you see here, like these results are all insane, all off the back of backlinks. There's a bunch more here. I mean, there's you can pause the video if you want. There's many, many more, and I can go over these one by one. But just know that the backlinks are not magical. And as you know, and as I have talked about all on this channel, right, SEO has three main pillars, right? We have the on-page SEO, we have technical SEO, and then we have off-page SEO, right? On-page SEO is basically everything that happens on the site. So the content you write, how you write it, what you say, what you don't say, if you add images, videos, internal links, external links, so everything that happens on the site, right? That's done. Technical SEO is the more boring stuff, so meta tags, schema markup, site speed, right? All that stuff. And then off page essentially is a uh, link building, okay? The backlinks. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, it's because you cannot succeed in SEO just by focusing on one or even two. You need to focus on all three. So the results you see, the results you see here from these people, like the, the insane amounts of traffic gain, right? Boom, boom, for, with backlinks from this to this, right? From 18K uh, to 32,000, right? These backlinks did play a big part, but they, of course, have on-page and technical SEO nailed down. Very, very important. Let me give you an example. For example, um, let's say you have on-page SEO nailed down. You have off-page SEO nailed down. So you have amazing content on the site, very well put together. You also have amazing backlinks, right? But you're missing technical SEO. So let's say, for example, your site is ranking on top of Google search, right? Number one right here for a bunch of keywords, right? Above all the competitors. But when people click on your site, well, it takes... 10 or 15 seconds to load, right? It takes a lot of time to load. Well, this one's take maybe two seconds. This one maybe takes one second. This takes like three seconds, right? And so, yeah, you're ranking for a bunch of keywords. People are searching for them, clicking on your site. They're going to your site and it's loading for 15 seconds. Now, this is a bad user experience. And eventually what's going to happen is that people click on your site, yes, but they will not wait for 15 seconds. So they'll, just, they'll just go back and click the second result or the third. And they click on doing this over and over again. Eventually what's going to happen is that this yours is going to start ranking down and the result people click more will go up, right? And you lose the rankings. So this is just a bit of an extreme example to explain to you how important technical SEO is, or actually in specific, a specific part of technical SEO, which is the site speed, right? So again, my point is that you need to nail down all of these three. Again, look at this. You can pause the video, right? These are amazing results off the back of backlinks, right? And backlinks do provide these results, right? If you have decent on-page and decent technical SEO, but if you're just doing backlinks, this won't work. Right. And let me go over each one of these ones and then I'm going to go over what type of backlinks that actually are creating here and why. So this one is for a pet supplements company in the USA. So we built eight links per month starting in February this year, a mix of guests posting link insertions. Again, I'll go over what these are. If you don't know, I'll go over it in a second here. And we mixed in about 30 versus if we mixed in about sorry, 30 diversity links per month as well as to balance the link profile out. So what does this mean, right? This means that when you're building links, right, you don't just want to be building just guest posts or just link insurgents. You want to mix it up with maybe some profile links, some social links, so it looks natural because the whole goal of link building uh, is to make sure that your link profile is and looks somewhat natural based on the links you're building, so the links as well as the anchor text. So let's say you want to rank for the keyword uh, best AI SEO writer. Let's say, for example, you own this business and you want to rank for, for AI SEO writer, okay? You should not build all your links with the anchor text AI SEO writer. Because if you do so, it's gonna, you're going to you're gonna get penalized uh, because this doesn't look natural. So what you want to do is, again, diversify the links and diversify the anchor text. Maybe do AI SEO writer, best AI SEO writer, uh, the AI writer for SEO. Uh, the best AI writer for people doing search engine optimization. So diversify it, okay? And I have videos on this. I'll try to link them down below the description on how to come up with anchor text variations, 
the percentage of them allow them because exact match anchors should only be like one percent of them then you also have branded anchors so the actual brand name so you build links with the brand name you build links to the url with the url as an anchor sorry you can build links as well with anchors with uh, being um generic so click here learn more visit the site so there needs to be a mix and a variation of both again links the link type and the anchor text. And we'll go over the link types in a second here. Again, if you want to learn more a bit about the anchor text and the variations and all that, I'll, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description for that, for a course where I talk about that. Okay, and again, the traffic went from uh, 10.5K a month to 16K traffic, okay? And the company publishes a dozen or so blog posts per month, so on-page is going good as well. So again, it is very important, right? They are doing on-page as well. They're not just relying on backlinks. They're relying on backlinks plus good content, okay? But I mean, the results you can see with this are amazing, right? 10K to almost double the traffic, not double, but to 16K, so 6,000 or 5,000 or 5,000 more people, right, more clicks, more, more eyeballs, is a lot more money, right? Um, this one, for a real estate marketing company in the US, so just two DR40 links, and by the way, DR40, DR stands for domain rating, this is a metric measured according to Ahrefs, okay, Ahrefs is a, a, an SEO tool, just like SEMrush, um, SpyFu, uh, Moz, there's a bunch of them, and each one of them has their own metrics. Now, DR, uh, domain rating, according to, according to Ahrefs, tends to be the most reliable, but keep in mind that these metrics can and are uh, manipulated all the time, so use them as a, guide, a guidance. Don't use them as like a rule of thumb and the end-all be-all of things, because a link with DR90 Nine is not necessarily better than link with the R40 because I mean they can have different traffic, different niches. So there's a, there's a lot of nuance into this, and I'll make sure also to drop a link down below for a free course on link building, which goes over all these nuances, which are very very important. Okay, so again, two links, only two links uh, per month since February 16. A mix of guest post link and searches. Again, I'll go over what these are in a second here. And again, as you see here, from February this year to uh, just September, right? Uh, I mean, it is insane. From three hundred three. 3,300 to 10.5K in traffic, right? Just like that, right? It, it is insane. It's one of the most insane ones. I, I should probably have titled the video this one instead of the, this one, but yeah. Again, this one we talked about before. Here's another one. Um, large workout supplements company based in Canada. So five to six, five to six DR4 links per month from Feb to June, right? You see here, I mean, the traffic goes up and up and up into the 4K, 40K margins uh, as, a, as a high, right? Uh, the website has a go has got a large amount of growth in a short amount of time from the backlinks building, but had a slight dip from the August 24 Google update. As this is a large, well-known brand, it is likely it's just a temporary dip. Okay, so again, dips do happen. But again, most of this is based off of links. And there's this one again. You can pause the video for this. Another one here. 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 There's a bunch more here, right? These are all the results of backlinks. Now, what are these backlinks? What type of backlinks do you want, do you want to build, right? There's two main ones, which I think honestly are the most powerful and safest, because I mean, I only talk about these ones here, but there's then, there's PBN links, uh, there's SAPE links, there's social links, there's a um, profile, there's a bunch more. Like if you want to like break down all the links that exist, again, I'll link another, yet another video where I break down all these links, every single link type and how to build every single one of them, right? It's like a long video on how to like build every single link, like a PBN, how to build, how to build the whole network. I'll, I'll do this, right? I'll go over all that because <laughs> I have a lot of content on this channel, as you might have, might have realized by now. So yeah, but basically the links you want to build are basically these two, guest posts and each edits. So firstly, what is a guest post? So a guest post is a link placed on a new post. So let's say, for example, this company writes a, a post, a new post today, just, to the, to the, they just posted it like an hour ago, why Journalist AI is the best AI writing software for SEO. They post it, right, and they add a link here, boom, to our site, right? This is a guest post, right? A newly published, fresh new article, right? Takes maybe a day or two to get indexed, right? Takes maybe a week or so to get some traffic, right? To get going, it is a new article, right? Then we have niche edits, which are also called link insertions, which basically is a link placed on an existing post. So while here, people, the website owner creates the post and adds a link to it, to my site, here we add an existing we have the link in an existing, already indexed, already, uh, already uh, traffic, uh, articles are already getting some traffic. So let's say for example, yeah, it's an existing article, they add here a link to us, right? Again, this article is already indexed, maybe already getting some traffic, some traction, right? So these, usually these, are, these tend to be more powerful, but you get less customization. These tend to be less powerful, still very powerful, but with more customization, you can talk more about you, about your brand, etc. So these are basically healthy two types of links you should be building. Okay, again, there's, there's a bunch more, like I said before, PBN links, SAPE links, 
um, profile links, edu links, gov links. I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff, right? Social links. But basically, all you need to know, you don't need to overcomplicate much, is that you need to be focusing on the three main pillars on page, technical and off page. Off page can bring you these insane results as you see here. I mean, over and over and over again, we see link building works working, sorry, with quality link building. You don't want to be building like these $5 Fiverr type links, right? These won't work. These will destroy your site or it don't just do anything, right? You want to be looking at at least DR40 links that are acquired in a manual way, that have traffic, that are niche specific because the, the best type of backlink isn't just one with high metrics, right? It's one with high metrics and then high relevancy, right? Um, but for example, let's say I have a blog about cars, right? I, I want a link from a, a site with DA90, of course, but if that DA90 site is about, I don't know, something super relevant, like um, mother uh, gifts for mothers, right? Doesn't make sense, even though, yeah, it's DR90. What I, wanted to do, what I want to have is a link from a DR, maybe DR50 site or DR70 site or 60 site that's just like about cars, right? The hyper niche specific, because when Google is ranking your site, they look at the backlinks, the power of the backlinks, but also look at the relevancy of said backlinks and, of course, the relevancy of said anchor text. That's why it is important when you're doing your building the backlinks to have a proper anchor text strategy, properly diverse as well, diversified as well. Right? I know I, am, I said a lot of stuff here. I'm trying to pack as much value as I can in 15 minutes, but there's a lot here. Um, again, I'll leave a bunch of courses. That I'll leave also an in-depth thread in the, in the description so you can check it out. Uh, a, a course for the link building stuff. Right? And if you want to get these backlinks, by the way, the links that, that are responsible for these results, so 390 to 6,000, 18,000 to 30,000, 3,000 to 10,000, 10,000 to 16,000, and a bunch more, right? You can get these exact links, these two, right, by going to journalist.com. Try journalist.com, going to your, to your dashboard, log in. It's free to do, by the way. And just click on link building, right? You can get them here, right? There's like a video of me here explaining in depth how we get it. So the whole process, the how, how we do the manual outreach, how, how we take your site, we, we take your domain, right? Take your domain, take your keywords, and then we go out and actually actively look for the websites where we can include your link in. Websites that are relevant and also very powerful. And surprise, surprise, the results you see here, right? These results are the exact results of people using these backlinks, okay? So, but one thing that I must stress is that do not order these links and think you're gonna see amazing rankings if you don't have at least on-page nailed down and technical SEO nailed down. Make sure you have these nailed down and again, I'll leave courses in the, in the description on how to get these done. And also, by the way, for on-page, you can use Journalist AI to generate content for you. I won't dive deep into this right now, but it is it is honestly the best AI essay writer that's out there. Uh, if you can get it, you try it for free, for three articles free. It is just insane, right? The People are, are ranking this. FinTech companies are using this. Like multi-million dollar companies are using our software to rank on Google. It is insane. Now, one thing that I need to say before I go is that AI writing softwares and Journalist AI is not an exception, right? These are not magic tools, right? What solely the thing that these uh, tools do, right, is they increase the speed at which you can get results. What do I mean by this? And I, I give this analogy often, and most likely you've heard me say this before, this before, sorry. If this is me, right, and this is you, and we are in a table building competition, right, the person who builds the most tables wins, right, me versus you. But I have this wrench, this amazing tool that allows me to tighten up the bolts of the legs, right, to fix the legs to the, the top of the table faster, right? So yeah, we can both build tables, right? You can build your own tables. You can like screw the legs with your hand. So you, you can go there and screw it with your hand, right? But I have a tool, so I'm able to build. Yeah, in the end, we build. We both build tables. In the end, like the end result is the same. We both build tables. However, I can build so many more tables so much faster because I have this amazing tool. And this, my friend, is AI, right? AI just allows you to do so many things so much faster. For example, with Journalist AI, you can generate articles. You can automatically post them to your blog, automatically submit them for indexing on Google, automatically add links to them, internal, external, images, videos, a bunch of stuff, right? I won't bore you with this right now because that's not the goal of this video. The goal of this video is to get you to get some backlinks because, I mean, these are actually brilliant results. But just know that if you're using AI, even if you're using ChatGPT, right, think about it as a tool. And the, also, because it is a tool, if you don't know how to use it, you won't be able to build a table. Right. So how does this apply to SEO? Right. You need to know how to do SEO. And then you can use AI to increase the speed at which you can do SEO. But again, if you don't know how to use AI, if you don't know how to use, use, do SEO, sorry, AI is kind of, kind of pointless to you because, again, in this analogy, 
you know, you know, you have no idea how to use the tool. So you have no idea how to where, do the legs go here, do the legs go on the side. So you have to know how to build the table, i.e., you have to know how to do SEO. So then you can use AI or this tool to make it faster. So yeah, that's it. Give it a go. Get these backlinks if you want, because they do bring results. Um, if you want to learn a bit more how, how they work, right? Just check the links in the description. I'll, I'll, I'll put a bunch of free resources on how to build them, a bunch more stuff for for SEO's sake. Because my goal with this channel is just to give you as much info as I can about SEO. That's it. Check the links and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.